I'm Beach Pop Yes, and welcome to another episode of Beach Bag. In this episode, <laughs> I'm going to show you how to make Cookie Monster cookies. <laughs> In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make Cookie Monster cookies. For this cookie, you are going to need some vanilla frosting, a cup in a bag, not a cup in a bag, a cup in a bag, some famous names cookies, blue food dye, black food dye, fondant, and of course, cookies. You're also going to need a spoon and a knife. Take a, your spoon and put it and take a scoop of frosting and put it in a dish. Then, over there, and take food dye. Um, I'm just gonna use like a drop, just because I'm using a very small amount. But normally, you should use like two or something like that. And then you can mix it and like that. Okay, so now I have my blue frosting. I'm gonna take it. And you don't have to do this, you can just apply it with a knife, but I'm going to take my blue frosting and I'm going to put it in the cup. And yes, I know I got it on my finger. You do have to put it in the bag, not like the bag in the cup. You don't have to put the bag in the cup, but you can. But you don't want to put the frosting directly in the cup or else that'll just be weird. So then you gotta take out the frosting and seal the bag and make sure it's airtight. So I like to put it on the counter, close it most of the way, and then squeeze all the air out. Now you're gonna take the scissors and you're gonna snip, wait, and cut the end of the bag. It's not that hard, okay. Not as hard as I made it look. So then. Show the frosting thing in the corner. Get your cookie. Ah! And wait. Take your frosting. And I'm just gonna make a cookie box because it looks more like bird, I guess. Okay, now you're gonna open it. You're gonna take your black food die. And then you take, take it a toothpick because I don't wanna squeeze it. I'm just gonna put some dye on it. Just like this. Just got some dye on it. Close it. And then you're going to need it. And be careful, the black food dye, well, the food dye does stain, so just be careful when you mess with food dye. Take a little pinch off and you roll it into like a little ball and you put it aside. Then take another pinch at the same size and then you roll it into another ball. Just like that. So now you're going to take your white fondant. Sorry, it was in the microwave for a little too long. It's really hot. Okay, so take some white fondant now. Got to it out and lay it down and then take some fondant and you're going to do the exact same thing. Take a little black one and you're going to smush it on the top of one of one, one of them and then you're going to take the other black one and smush it on the bottom of the other one. So then it looks like Cookie Monster's going crazy. Then take your, your fondant eyes, this one, right there, on the one side, this the other one, there. Make sure that his eyes are still in the wrong, going in the wrong direction, oopsies, like that. Now take your knife and you are going to, I don't know if you can see that, you're going to cut the famous name is cookie in half. I'm going to take the better half, like this one, I'm going to take it and you're going to take it. And you're gonna put it in his 
mouth. This is your cookie, crazy cookie monster cookie. So, as I said, this is your cookie, crazy cookie monster cookie. And I love saying cookie a lot just because it's fun to say. And, um, and there you go, so I said that ten times fast. And so, um, I'm done with it. And I'm going to make the rest of the cookies off camera. So, yeah. So, this is my final cookie result. And it's your cookie, crazy cookie monster cookie, which is really fun to say. And I dare you to say that ten times fast. But, um, I had a lot of fun making it. And I will see you all next time. And you should now. See you later. I doubt it says that, by the way. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, but we're fun. It just fell out once before. 